Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to make falafel, uh, homemade falafel. So first, for the ingredient you will need, one kilo peeled broad beans. So I'm going to add them here in a big bowl. Okay, so here we have one kilo of peeled uh, dry broad beans and we need three quarter of chickpeas, dry chickpeas okay. and now we need to soak them overnight uh, so I'm going to leave them until tomorrow I'm going to cover them with the water and then leave them for tomorrow ok so as you can see we cover them with the water and uh, uh, make sure every few hours you know just add a little bit of water because some because they're going to soak and uh, We'll see you tomorrow and I'll show you a very easy way of how to do falafel a homemade falafel So don't forget to keep them overnight. So see you tomorrow. Okay guys So as you can see I drain all the water from the uh, beans and from the chickpeas and as you can see I put them in a colanders now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do them by the processor. We want them to be um, not very paste, like thicker paste. And uh, I'm going to add, I'm just, I'm just going to add them bit by bit. And I'm going to add a little bit of parsley. You can add coriander and uh, green pepper. It's just one green pepper and it's optional. And five gloves of garlic and also I have one small onion and for the spices we need four teaspoon of falafel spices and one teaspoon of black pepper also I have one teaspoon of garam masala and we need one teaspoon of cumin powder and also we need two tablespoons of salt so first I'm going to show you a little bit of how to, to do the chickpeas in the food processor okay so that's enough it's not full it's half and I'm going to turn it on okay so take it off And then I'm going to put them in a big bowl because I need to mix them with the vegetables and the spices. So if you want to try this recipe, you can just try with little amount. It's about half kilo of broad beans, peeled broad beans, and. Uh, less than half kilo of chickpeas dry chickpeas so as you can see we need them to be like so thicker paste i'm going to complete the um, the broad beans and the chickpeas off camera and we'll see you after that to do the vegetables okay guys so this is after 10 minutes i just do all the broad beans and um, chickpeas should be here like should be like this Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to put all the vegetables in the food processor. I have onion, garlic, parsley, also you can add coriander if you like and green pepper is optional. But just like to add, you know, a little bit of green color to the falafel. So it's good when you give them a little bit of green color. I'm going to turn it on and paste them. Okay, so as you can see, we're finished from the vegetables. What I'm going to do now, because we need a lot of space, we have lots of falafel here. Um, I'm doing all these falafel because I'm going to put them in the freezer uh, because... You know it's hard when when you want to eat fresh falafel and you you want to do them you know in the same day so I'm going to do this big amount and then just um, put them 
in a small bags and then uh, put them in the freezer for a long time for one to two three months and when i want to eat falafel just need to take it off the freezer and then put it overnight in the fridge uh, now what i'm going to do i'm going to clean my table and then put all the ingredients on the table and then mix them very good okay so after okay so after so after i clean my table i'm just gonna add all the ingredients falafel here on the table and that will be better and then it's like so add all the spices add all the vegetables you like to add chili so it's optional and I'm going to add the broad beans on them Woo! now we have the big mission to mix all the ingredients together by hand okay guys so now after i mix them i'm going to add the salt like so much of salt about two tea two tablespoons sorry two tablespoons and then mix them very good so this is the final mix the salt okay guys now so I'm going to show you how to make the falafel and how to make the falafel sandwich first here we have a little bit of falafel the rest of the falafel I put them in a bags and then to the freezer and it stay few months few months if you like and you can leave them few months if you like in the freezer so I'm going to add a little bit of bicarbonate of soda and then mix them very well. You only add the bicarbonate of soda before when you want to fry them. So I'm going to mix them and then leave them about 5 to 10 minutes. Okay, so this is done. Now, in that time, I'm going to make the tartar sauce, which is uh, made out of tahini sauce and tahini, which is made out of sesame seeds, ground sesame seeds. And for the tahini sauce, we need one tablespoon of lemon juice and a little bit of salt and then a little bit of water. And here we have the tahini just add tahini mix them very well so this is very thick we need to put more water just add a little bit of water and mix them As you can see here we have the tahini sauce which is we call it in Arabic tarator so this sauce is special for falafel and also we can add this sauce to the shawarma meat so you can check my other videos for shawarma wrap beef shawarma so this is enough I'm going to chop the vegetables so for falafel sandwich you need pickles any kind of pickles that you like I'm going to add so I'm going to chop cucumber pickles which is 
taste delicious. So cucumber, also you can add turnip, turnip pickles, and we will have tomato. Chop it to slice. So I need sliced tomato for the sandwich. And also we need parsley. in the tahini sauce I have it a bit more okay so this is so everything's ready for the for the falafel sandwich what I'm going to do now I'm going to start frying the falafel and I'll show you how so follow me So this is the falafel sandwich and hope you enjoy it and hope you try it. So guys, I'm gonna end up my video here. Please leave me like and subscribe for more videos and uh, stay tuned and I will see you soon in another video or another recipe and hope you enjoy the falafel sandwich. Bye. Bon appetit.